Good morning, Galaxy of Heroes. Legends of the Old Republic 6 marquee event and Bastilla Shan Fallen Shards. So, here we go. Um, required units are everybody by the looks of it. Is it? Don't get it. Battle. Yeah, it's everybody. So, let's clear the squad. They showcased... Um, let's go Sith, because she gets the boost from the Sith. And she gets the boost from particular Sith. So, we'll go with... Palps, I'm going to go Palps, Vader, I want some protection, so the Sith Trooper, uh, Dooku, and let's see if an Accelerant will help as well. So, let's have that, let's see how we get on. Sith Assault deals Deals damage, inflicts ability block, and deals more damage and has a higher critical chance for each allied Sith. Do I want to go with... I'm not going to do specials. This is round one. Okay. Um. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, dear. Somebody drank their coffee too quickly. It might have been me. And I mean, none of this is going to prove that problematic. They want us to get or unlock these tunes. So this should just be a breeze in the park, he says. You go. Final encounter. So we unleash hell now. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just get rid of the weakest one. Ability block the Jedi Consular. Shock them all. Do an AOE. Mahaha. Right, both stunned. You're dead. Shoop, shoop. Show it all. Yay. Ten, and what's on here? A fence with protection, protection. Uh, okay, it actually holds it this time round. Yay, finally. Finally, finally, finally. Uh, do I want to let's switch it around a bit? Sith. Um, clear the squad. Right, let's go triumvirate this time round. We will still slap in use and 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 marauder. Just to mix it up and run a complete... Oh, lots of biggies. Lots and lots of biggies. So, I was expecting at least one of them to fall then. But, eh. They all fall down eventually, don't they? Okay, so that, why do they, why are they all starting with shock? I do not know. Okay. One left. Egon tool. Now 
now get everyone with the additional potency. Gamorian thug. Um, let's give that over to her. She's going to get a go eventually. Right. Oh, this looks fun. Uh, get rid of you. Zappity Duda. You're gone. You're, you will go. You will go. But still for the win. Go on. No. Do like the animation that. Oh, well, 27k from Marauder. I know it should be Sith Murderer. <laughs> okay, another 10 shards. That's 20 shards. Uh, okay, I'm bored with this already. Um, so let's just slap it onto auto. Hmm. Is it wrong that I'm more interested in the, the new Mandalorian coming in? I'm just wondering whether that represents anything. I mean, this KOTOR Sith malarkey is just... Uh, I, watched, I watched Smithies and Warriors videos and... Uh, and the speculation, I mean, it does look like it's leaning towards Malak being the next Sith with Darth Revan at some point after that. Um, and it will, you know, the Bastilla will uh, enable us to run two, two Sith squads. I mean, you would run the Triumvirate as one. And then Palps with Bastilla in another one. Um, yeah, it's... I mean, I like the fact that it will enable us to run two full Sith squads. But... I don't know. I, the, all of this seems to lure more to what's coming. And what we're going to need to prepare for. Over anything else. Right, as I say, uh, it doesn't do anything, does it? I mean, we don't get really any true indication of her capabilities here. We're playing against, you know, five piggies or whatever. We're playing against elements that aren't in-game normally, so there's no way that we can really glean much from this. Um Proof, I suppose, will be in arena and whatnot, and I don't know. Seeing the gameplay so far of her going against the current meta, Revan, uh, she don't fare so well, or they don't fare so well. So that's kind of where you're going to use her. What you're going to do with her? We're going to get her, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just waffling now, obviously, while I'm just waiting for these battles to end and I hear that she's uh, quite demanding on the gear front as well which yay this looks familiar line up I guess the Le Scoundrels So once again, Sif Trooper is is the champion, <laughs> the MVP, apparently. I suppose we could say that uh, Treya's lead plays a part. Well, it plays a big part, I know, but, you know, it's just, yeah, boom. <clears throat> and the baddie's gone. Baddie's killing baddies. Oh, triangle, health with health and crit chance, so... 
no drop mods kind of setting the world on fire uh yeah i'm just you know what it's quick they get through it let's just do this We're playing shocks and that quite a bit of her increased was it 50 percent and five sith or whatever uh her basic or whatever is increased i don't know i mean she's i'm guessing that she is a maxed tune that we're being loaned so we'll see what she does here think yay and then we'll unlock her at three star and find that she's absolutely useless against nearly everything unless well except for galactic war maybe We will she. Actually, we do want to focus and get rid of him. Who's that? Jedi Sentinel. I'm just uh, getting rid of the ones that do the most damage, first of all, I think. Can we get rid of yours? You almost. Yep, yeah, you're gone. You're stunned. We're just going to wreck. Boom, boom. Shake the room. I wonder how many song lines I can get into. Oh, crap, really? Okay, I've hit my <laughs> mod cap again. Yay. Oh, actually, uh, I will reduce that quite soon. So, this is the way that they're lining us up for the you know what let's just we'll actually play this one all right so that's um oh it's only one round isn't it that's nihilus now charged i mean he's got one two three four five two four six of them um so he's going to be going quite soon should have taken the one with the buff never mind Let's pull all of that off she's got shock two of them stun let's get rid of views um Another shocked. Oh, I'll just clear you. You don't seem to be shocked. Do the scion roar. <laughs> Suck the life force out of them. So they're both. No, they're not stunned. <laughs> that but still for the win no I ain't wow all right it's a level 89 but come on level 89 on red and there you go so there's an indication all right okay there's yes I know yay one of these that is it um that is that done uh, if we go into characters and flip around, here she is. I picked up the pack. So let's activate. I doubt if she's going to go very high gear wise, but we will. Um, let's promote her as well. So she's up to three star. Oh, and promote her again. She's up to four star. And oh, before we do anything there, let's just have a look at her base stats before I go any further. So at level one, she is, yeah, gear level one, level one, 100 base speed. Yeah, none of these are really, has she got any armor pen? 
Uh, that's all going to come with the gear, I suppose. So let's train her up. Whoa. Six and a quarter million credits later. She's now level 85. Max level of current. Right. Let's just go around the houses and do these bits. No additional speed on the uh, upgrade. Right, so two speed, four speed. So plus four speed so far. Plus eight speed. Plus 12 speed so far up to gear level 4. 10 speed in total, 12. It's a Mark 4. I thought for a horrible moment then they were throwing in a Mark 5. No, they wouldn't do that. I've lost count on my... Oh, Mark IV there. I've lost count of where I am speed-wise. At 12, 18. I've probably got that number wrong now. Mark seven. Okay, so we're up to gear level... Seven. No speed there, is there? Another two speed. Okay, so gear level eight. So this is, yeah, that's where we stop there. Mark V car Banty. No, it's not. Mark V Arakid droid caller. What the hell? I don't know. I'll craft and slap that one on. She can have that one. That's two speed. Let's have one ready. Um, Mark eight. Oh, she can have that. In fact, I'm going to pop all of these bits on there. So the only bit that she won't get now is the stun gun, because I don't have one. And even if I did, um, I think there will be other tunes that get it before her. I don't know. That may all change. Right, let's just go through her tax abilities. She is not getting a Zeta, not at the moment. Okay, I'm going to be a bit... Extravagant. Oh, did I just go over four seven? No, but I will do with her. Ooh, there's a landmark. Or will I go over? I don't know. Add when the target already has shock, deal bonus special damage to all enemies. This bonus damage cannot be countered. Yeah, we'll have some of that. Fear, stun target for one enemy. Well, let's read what's actually written, shall we? Stun target enemy for one turn can't be evaded. When this stun expires, inflict offense down, defense down, and evasion down for one turn. These effects can't be resisted. And speed down now. And expose. And stagger. Increase the duration of stun expiration effects to two turns. And 80% chance to stun another random enemy. Right, unique. Corrupted battle meditation. 
Okay, now I get anxious because one of these is a Zeta and I have a Zeta ready. I just don't want to deploy it. At the start of Bastilla's turn, she recovers 1% protection for each debuff on enemies. So we'll have that. So that's that maxed. So it's this one that's got the Zeta. Sith Apprentice Bastilla and the character in the leader slot have plus 25% defense and tenacity. If Bastilla's leader is Sith, whenever an enemy is inflicted with death mark, shock or marked, they both gain 5% offense, stacking up to 100% for the rest of the battle. This ability does not apply to characters in the ally slot. And those numbers are all changing now because I'm boosting up the... Right, this is the one I have to be careful with, I believe. Yeah, there it is there. Bastilla and the character in the leader slot gain foresight for one turn at the start of the battle. So this, I mean, this possibly could... Actually, no, I think Revan goes through foresight. So that will be useful in some places, uh, not in others. So there's all our abilities done. Uh, Stats-wise, where are we? Gear level 8. 13,000 health, 7,800 protection, 130 speed. So I'm guessing again that that will increase. Armor penetration of 20. Resistance penetration of 15, 18% resistance. So let's. I'm just going to go for unassigned mods. I'm not nicking anything off of anywhere else. Go with the speed, sort, and speed again. So all my fastest mods. Really? 12? Okay, that's health. I've got a 10 there. I've got 12 there. So I'm just looking through. Protection. Do I want protection? Health. Okay. Potency. Oh, defense. No. Let's, what was that? Offense. Sorry. I'm going to pop that one on. With that one. And then the rest are going to go with the health. Assign. A sign. A sign. And now um, take that off, pop that on, and go to health, confirm. Protection, tenacity, defense, health, defense, that's uh, all defense. Some offense, but not a great deal, and a bit of potency. All oh, right, so I've got a few here. Oh, potency and protection. Let's see what the other stats are. Defense, oops, fat fingers. Fat fingers still. Defense. Protection. Sorry, I've done it. Uh, that will do. So we're up to 30. A sign. Okay, so 216. So she's not uber, uber fast. But for now, that will do. Oh, really? Really? Okay, well, that is it. There she is. Bastilla Shan, four star. Uh, we'll just have a quick butchers at her stats on four star gear level eight. 17,000 health, 9,000 protection, 216 speed, 186. Yeah, okay, we know all of those bits. We saw when we put the mods on. Damage 1433. It's not too bad, is it? 20 armor pen, 22.11 armor. 2,880 special damage, 15 resistance pen, 24%, 24.69% resistance. So she's quite tanky. And she's in game for me. Thank you for watching.